Welcome to our paper, Box to Mask, 3D Semantic Instant Segmentation Through Bounding Box Supervision. We tackle the task of 3D Semantic Instant Segmentation. Given a 3D scene as input, we predict each object instance in the scene with a binary mask and a semantic label, as for example table, desk or sofa. Most current methods rely on dense point supervision. Millions of points in scene point clouds or meshes are annotated with instance ID and semantic class. Such data produces best learning results. However, it is labor intensive and thus expensive and is only available in a few datasets. This poses a problem for scalability. This motivates the search for cheaper but effective data sources. A recent line of works uses annotations of only a sparse subset of points. Points are annotated with their instance centers and semantic class. Since a smaller number of points need to be annotated, those might be cheaper to obtain. However, this results in significantly less accurate learning results. Moreover, only a single such dataset is available. In this work, we find a new and valuable data source for learning 3D semantic instance segmentation. Our solution is to train from bounding box data annotations, which are sparse and annotated per object. We find bounding boxes to be surprisingly useful for the task. We largely outperform methods learned with sparse points and are on par with recently fully supervised methods. However, bounding boxes are cheaper to annotate and readily available in many 3D detection datasets. Although bounding boxes in our training data are sparsely annotated on an object level, we demonstrate how to utilize them for dense prediction. Input to our method box to mask is a colored 3D point cloud or mesh of a scene. For each point in the input scene, box to mask predicts the bounding box of the instance belonging to the point. Our key contribution is that this is trained with only corresponding box annotations and requires no per point labels. The bounding boxes are clustered via a novel algorithm called non-maximum clustering, which is specifically tailored to the bounding box representation. We obtain instance masks from box clusters. For this, a point is associated with the cluster of the box it predicted. Doing this for each point yields the final result. Prior work of weekly supervised instance segmentation uses a neural network to predict centers of instances. Let's consider one point in the scene mesh, visualized in red. A network predicts the center of the instance the point belongs to. Doing the same for all points in the scene yields a set of center predictions, shown in yellow. The center votes are clustered to obtain instance masks. We visualize the Euclidean distance of centers to the initial red vote. Dark green denotes small distances of centers and light green denotes large distances. We find a smooth decay of distances, even when projected back to the scene. This poses a problem. Obtaining masks from such center distances is brittle to the threshold for binarization. We tackle this issue by representing instances via their bounding boxes instead of centers. For a point in a scene denoted in red, our neural network predicts the bounding box of its instance. Doing the same for all points yields a set of bounding boxes, visualized in yellow. The bounding box representation allows us to rely on their volumetric extent to compute distances. We use their intersection over union as a distance metric for clustering. In contrast to centers, this obtains a sharp distance map. Obtaining instance masks is straightforward. During training, points are enforced to vote for the boxes they are contained in. However, the association of points to boxes is non-trivial for points in multiple boxes, visualized in red. Next, we ask the question, can we go directly from bounding box prediction to instance masks? We perform a baseline experiment. Given an input scene, we let a detection model find the bounding boxes of instances. Those are directly converted to masks, 
associating points to the smallest bounding box they are contained in. Again, large errors can be observed when boxes are intersecting. In contrast to this, our method, box to mask predicts detailed masks corresponding to the instances. We test our method on three datasets. On the ScanNet benchmark, we obtain leading performance by a large margin in weekly supervised methods and obtain 97% of the state-of-the-art performance of fully supervised methods. We visualize a validation 3D scene and the box-to-mask predictions of object instances. Different instances are visualized in random colors. For comparison, we also train box to mask on dense point labels. This model achieves state of the art quality on full supervision. Comparing the two shows little differences, validating the usefulness of bounding box training. Moreover, box to mask results are consistent with the ground truth. We evaluate box to mask also on the Stanford S3DIS dataset we find the same conclusions as on ScanNet. To demonstrate the practicality of our approach, we show segmentation results on the recently released largest scene dataset, AR Kit Scenes. Although annotated with 3D bounding boxes only, we obtain for the first time compelling 3D instance segmentation results. This unlocks a large body of 3D detection datasets to be viable for learning instance segmentation. Thanks. Code, model, and data is available at our project website.